um, as you know very well, most of our actions are actually um, helping to address the root causes of migration. This is about promoting and boosting sustainable development in our partner countries. This is, uh, this is in essence, the, 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 the gross part of the actions that we're actually doing when it comes to, um, to um, supporting our partner countries. Um, and, um, and I can only uh, repeat again that indeed, well-managed migration is actually um, you know, beneficial for both um, you know, our partner countries themselves and obviously, um, you know, broadly uh, uh, speaking. Um, and um, when it comes to the UTF, maybe just to recall that actually 31% of, um, of the actions are also very much focused in trying to promote um, economic um, alternatives as well um, in our partner countries. Uh, so, um, yes, I, I do not agree with this, uh, with this, um, with this uh, qualification. And again, uh, guidelines are set by the OEC and, and respected by everyone. And if I can add just uh, um, a very short uh, um, compliment, uh, the European Union is the largest uh, provider of development aid of uh, ODA. It's also uh, the largest uh, a provider of climate funding um, from um, uh, globally. So I do believe that the European Union uh, has established itself as a, a global provider uh, of support and partnerships with countries around the world uh, in the fight against poverty, to promote economic development, to promote uh, the, um, uh, the clean transition, to promote the digital transition, uh, to fund a sustainable um, infrastructure around the world. Uh, so I do believe that the figures and uh, the facts uh, regarding the European Union's contribution uh, to, uh, to these global aims uh, speak for themselves.